Hi, good morning guys and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see there, most of the benchmark ind indices are slightly down this morning and that's on concerns that uh, concerns as ever that the Ukraine crisis is slowly spiralling out of control as there's more deaths reported overnight and things are certainly getting a bit more dicey over there. You see the US 30 has begun its slide the last couple of sessions after a very volatile session there on Monday. Uh, you can see there that yesterday's session ended quite down negatively and just now we are uh, on the wrong side of potential support at 16.401 with a big absence of um, US macro data and uh, Janet Yellen expected to speak later on today uh, which I expected to be quite dovish in nature, especially for the greenback. If we have a quick look at the UK 100, you can see there that we kind of reversed the uh, the gains that we'd made there from last week. And this isn't exactly aggressive, but it is um, a bearish engulfing pattern that we had yesterday. We are just slap bang on that potential support at 67.74. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how things progress uh, in the US markets and the European markets, and they're, they're due to lead. Uh, later on today. The Germany 30 will probably be quite a good benchmark index to look at today for exactly what's going to happen in Europe regarding Ukraine. So Japan 225 is getting hurt just now because there's been a fair amount of yen buying um, overnight, uh, safe haven asset allocation. So we're below potential support at 14219. Next potential support is at 13693. And it really is that dollar yen that's going to be hurting um, the Japan 225. As you can see, we are firmly on the wrong side of 101 spot 80. Next potential support is at 100 spot 80. And uh, we're actually trading near the session lows today as well. Uh, as the greenback continues to lose ground on the back of um, low interest rates for longer term in the US, uh, while as obviously the Japanese yen will be in vogue as that Ukrainian situation gets worse. If we have a quick look at crude oil West Texas, actually had a bit of support yesterday as crude oil inventories came out a little bit worse than expected so not quite as much um, in storage as has been anticipated but we were already at record highs the previous week uh, we are rechallenging 100 spot 61 just now and the fundamentals are ripe for this to, uh, to be able to accelerate further if um, there are issues with supply from Russia pipelines from Ukraine etc etc so gold on the back of that US dollar weakness and um, uh, unrest in Ukraine is slowly edging up. Actually, it's slightly disappointing considering how much yen interest there's been. So gold's just still not really got its full um, full throttle on right now. So yen seems to be the safe haven of choice over gold. Um, we're slapped down between two ranges, that 21 and 55 period SMA. Um, and we're quite far away from any potential support resistance in that regard. So euro dollar. So Euro dollar has been uh, has been interesting of late. A great session yesterday, off the session highs though, getting quite close to that potential resistance at 39.68. We're kind of floating around here just now, waiting for direction. However, it's got to be cable that everybody's been talking about. Oh, GBP USD, um, actually having an absolutely fantastic session, um, breaking through once, maybe just touching 170 yesterday. Um, we paused for breath just now. We're just a little bit below it, um, and you know, obviously, it's uh, one spot 7042 is the longer term resistance on this. And a lot of people asking what's going to happen next if we if we get there and break through it. Well, you know that back in the day, uh, GBP USD was a lot stronger. Don't think the uh, the British government actually wants uh, cable to be that strong for long. But as you can see, there's still a long potential way it can go if it's going to get back up to the heady heights that it once reached. Um, but this is a level to uh, to break here. This is the high of 2009, and um, we're not that far away from it right now. And we're going great guns here on the weekly chart. Um, economic data-wise, there's nothing really to talk about. As I said, there's Yellen testimony later on in today's session. Uh, you'll see her on CNBC and Bloomberg later on tonight. But she is expected to be quite dovish on the US dollar, and that's why you're seeing um, big gains in cable, euro, and yen, major FX crosses. Keep your eye on the chart forum for more updates from CMC clients and our global analyst team, and make sure you make insights part of your layout so you've got the inside track from that same team as to what's moving the markets today.